So I was looking for coffee this morning, and this is going to segue into what the heck is going on here. Get my battery pack. Not that one. Bear with me, peeps. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the side. Uh, yeah, it'll be better there. Okay, I'm looking for coffee this morning and uh, can't seem to find an open restaurant that has coffee. No, the A and W, but uh, don't ask for two cream, two sugar. I don't think so. If you go left, you see the A and W. All right. Couldn't find a coffee. Couldn't find a coffee shop that was open. Ghost town. Uh, up until a certain location, I get to Rito, and I start walking down Rito. This is Rito, by the way. Last night, where you saw the police come in. Uh, you saw the police come in. In full force to remove those those ralliers, those protesters, whatever you want to call them. Last night, I saw probably as many police officers as participants in the rally. Officers in their flanks, holding their weapons. I should say firearms, except the way that they were uh, holding these firearms was uh, in order to be weapons. <laughs> Oh, then they go, they go in there full force to clear everyone out. All those people carrying flags and walking in the streets. Well, this morning, Rito Street is a, is a, a, a desolate wasteland with the exception of the only people there seem to be uh, unwell, homeless, uh, clearly suffering from mental distress. And there, it's, that's, 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 those are the only people on Rito right now. You walk the street, there's no police now, there's no people now, and you just realize that this government is utterly failing. It's utterly failing its citizens. It's utterly failing the most vulnerable people who actually need help. I, as I'm walking with an individual, I mean, I'm getting, not yelled at, but uh, you know, I'm not catcalled, but I'm getting, uh, I, I'm hearing someone, you know, it, nothing to do, I wasn't streaming, it had nothing to do with what I do. Just an, a mentally unwell individual yelling at me. And I start walking side by side another individual who I think was from Jamaica and was saying, the government's failing. The government is failing the people. They leave the homeless. They leave the people who are mentally unwell to the Salvation Army. As if, as if the Salvation Army has the resources to deal with this. No, but the, but the government can come in with, I don't know how much that police force costs per day. I can, I can do the math. And then I have to multiply it by one and a half if they're actually on uh, hazard pay or overtime. The government can come in with a militarized police force to clear out peace-loving Canadians, but it can't come in with the required services to help the mentally ill, the mentally unwell, the homeless, the drug addicts. No, it leaves them, it leaves them literally on the street while it literally clears from the street peace-loving Canadians. Hey, the government can come up with a billion dollars. I don't, can't even drink that. Can come up with a billion dollars for a vaccine app. They can come up with a billion dollars for that. It can come up with hundreds of millions of dollars to fight foreign wars. Hundreds of millions of dollars monthly to pour military aid into foreign conflict. And it's got its own citizens sitting there, cold, suffering, mentally unwell, on the streets. The, the morning after, I mean, I don't, I'm not even going, I, I can't record it. I feel it would feel exploitive and degrading to actually film humans uh, living on the streets the streets that were literally just cleared last night by Justin Trudeau's militarized police force. Now they got, they, got, they got billions of dollars for vaccine passports. They got hundreds of millions of dollars for COVID ads. They've got hundreds of millions of dollars to provide weapons. How you doing? To provide weapons to fight foreign wars while they neglect their own citizens. It's disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. I'm going to sit down before I go to the... Uh, Cenotaph. It, and it's, and was, it was even more disgraceful. I, I had the revelation in the middle of the night. The government has gotten into the habit of thinking it doesn't have to talk to its citizens. You remember the, the, the most shocking, insulting, pathetic, authoritarian thing that Justin Trudeau did during the entire three week process does not think he needs to dignify his own citizens with discourse. I mean, why would you need to talk with them when you could just bring in the police and shut them up? And, and, but, and, and, and Jim Watson, you did the same thing last night in Ottawa. You, they, these, these, these teacup tyrants 
think that you don't, they don't have to discourse. They don't have to discuss. They don't have to talk with their citizens anymore. They get to rule and govern their citizens. They've gotten into the habit of speaking through the police. We don't have to talk to you. We don't have to hear what you have to say. And if you stay for too long, we're going to come in with the police, bust you up, arrest you. There's some police coming now. They're going to they're hear it. I can't, I'm not. I'm, and and, and what, was, what was I just about to say? Oh, no, no, that was it. And then, and then the, a free country, Canada's a free country. The, it's a free country where the government doesn't talk to you. The government doesn't think it has to negotiate with you. Negotiate with your citizens, by the way, it's called representation. So the government doesn't think it has to talk to you. We don't care what this fringe minority with unacceptable views has to say. We don't have to dignify it with discourse or consideration or thought. And what, what is it? But it's still, we're, we're, Chuck, yeah. how you doing? <laughs> we're still a free country though, by the way, you can still protest for as long as the government says you can protest. For 20 minutes, fine. 23 minutes, it's an occupation, break it down. You, you can protest so long as you follow the neat little itinerary that the government authorized you to take. And if you take a wrong turn, occupation, arrest. No, it's a free country when the government can tell you when you can protest, how you can protest, how long you can protest for, and if you dare push what they might think is the envelope, they will come in and destroy your life through malicious, incessant prosecution. Yeah, they have all the money in the world to prosecute Tamara Lich, to prosecute Pat King, to prosecute geez, uh, Brian Peckford, to prosecute Randy Hillier, uh, to, to prosecute rather, to litigate with Peckford, to prosecute Randy Hillier. They have all the money in the world to waste on judicial systems, re, judicial resources, prosecutorial resources, all the money in the world for that. Go down there and talk to the homeless people. I, it would be nice if the government gave them as much attention as it gave those, those, those rowdy protesters. can't do it. It's not, it's not even worth the calories. I can't do it. I'm sorry. A&W, this is nothing against you or your coffee, but your coffee sucks. Okay. I'll find a coffee later on. Oh, no, no. The coffee is no good. Coffee's way, some said coffee. Welcome to China. They, they, it's, it's just atrocious. And the amount of money that they're wasting on police today, walking around, drones in the sky, for this, by the way, this is it. How you doing, sir? You're, you're, you're on camera. I hope you, you, don't, you don't mind. My wife just told me you were here, so I just want to say hi. Thank you very much. Come on down and thank you for coming, brother.